Hey guys, Rafa here. All right, so this will be my very first uh, random YouTube search. And the way I'm going to be doing this is with the random word generator, okay? So we're gonna be starting off things with three words. Okay, the word type, we're gonna do the extended one, which basically includes um, uncommon words, all right? Uh, these ones, these rest of the options, we could just leave it the way it is, okay? And whatever three words I get, I'm gonna use those words to search on uh, YouTube. And whatever is the very first video, I'm going to be watching it and then commenting on it. And then at the end, I'll give it a rating, all right? Okay, uh, let's do a countdown here. So three, two, one. Okay, what, huh? what is this word? Quesos? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Slumpy? Sephora for us. What in the? Okay, so. Okay, well, let's give it a shot and see what we got. All right, guys, Rafi here. All right, so let's paste these words in the search box here. Okay, so I have no clue what this would even uh, generate. Let's see here. Okay, so first hit is social spiders spin massive nest. Okay, uh, seventy-five thousand views. It's uh, seven years old. Uh, nature on PBS. Okay, uh, let's take a look and see what this is all about. Okay, um, yeah. I love na nature shows. Well, I used to anyway. Okay, let's see. We got some spiders here. Okay, they look kind of small. Okay. Most spiders are not what you'd call sociable. And they're not social. In fact, they're usually downright hostile toward their own kind. Hostile towards their own kind. Okay. Kind of like uh, us. But here in the rainforest, there are exceptions wow. to that rule. Spiders that. that share big communal nests. Looks like an ant colony. Now, if you don't like spiders, you might not like this species. Oh, it's called Analosimus eximius. What? I already forgot. It's harmless to humans, but where you find one of these spiders, harmless. Okay. you'll likely find a lot of them. Wow. They even have ant colors. Isn't that weird? They're social spiders, a rare breed. Social spiders. Out of nearly 40,000 spider species, only a couple of dozen I do guess. this. This is their social network. Oh, their so tangled they're, three they're in the air. nests can be more than 20 feet across. And house ten thousand residents. Ten thousand citizens. Okay. Ninety percent of them are females. Ninety percent female. I want to live there. The Jeez. smaller males we'll get a don't chance. contribute much. It's the females that do all the work. Females do all the work. Tending I like this society. Eggs. Looking after the spiderlings. Okay. And building and maintaining their home. So what the hell do the males do? Well, the females don't eat them, I guess. That's good. Okay. Here in the rainforest, rain. it can rain really hard. Okay. I guess they have umbrellas. Let me see. And that can wreck any spider's web. Yeah. Repairing the damage is easier when you have lots of willing mm -hmm. workers to pitch in. So they're That's employees. That's what makes it possible okay. to live in a big house made of silk in a rainy climate. Adapt. All right. But this animal house is more than a home. What is it? It's also a hunting ground. So hunting ground. Okay, we're gonna see some From action. On the top of their nest, the spiders cast sticky lines of silk that drift on the breeze to okay. catch on nearby vegetation. What? Vegetation? They're v vegetarians? That creates a trap that can bring a flying insect Vegans to maybe. a dead. Oh, hole. there you go. Ah, uh, you're screwed, bro. When the spiders feel a wiggle on the lines, they investigate. Mm -hmm. Hey, that happened in Amazing Spider-Man. After subduing their prey uh, with a dose of venom, you're done for. It up in silk. Hi, yeah, yeah. They cart it down to the nest for a what a way to die. Feast. Wow. All right, well, kind of short, but uh, okay, informative. Let's get. All right, on to the review scores. Okay, so the first category is entertainment. 
Okay, as far as entertainment goes, I wouldn't really say this was entertaining. Um, I think it's a very limited uh, number of people who are interested in this. Uh, people who love spiders or insects. So I would give the entertainment a 2 out of 5. Okay, uh, next category is uh, the production. Okay, now these, these videos have a, you know what? A great production, like the camera work. I, look, look at this scene here. I don't know how they put a. So, what kind of camera even they use for these things? So, I would say a definitely high production, uh, just because they're kind of hard to film. I would give it a hmm, a four out of five, uh, just because you know it's like basically camera work. All right, next category is uh, education. Okay, uh, obviously this whole point of this is uh, educate, you know, to educate. So um, it would get, I would say, a four out of five. Uh, the only reason it's going to lose a point is because it's kind of short. It, it it does have a lot of information, but uh, I wish it was a bit longer because I'm sure they have these spiders have a lot more to offer. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I will give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's a pretty good video. And I will link the video down there so you guys can watch it if you want. All right, on to our next search. Here we go. Three more words. Uh, let's keep the extended. All righty. So, three, two, one. Boggling. Questmen. Baroclinity? Okay, Questmen. I like that. All right. Let's paste these words. Boggling, Questmen, bar 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 Baroclinity. Okay, well, I don't know what... I have no idea. Boggling. Isn't that like a toy? Okay. Okay. What is this first hit? Barotropic versus baroclinic conditions. Okay. Uh, 8,000 views two years ago. Uh, Tamara Barryquand. Okay. Uh, first, we first look at the difference between barotropic and baroclinic conditions in the ocean and then apply that to the example of a blah, blah. okay 19 minutes long okay so probably need to edit a little bit hello welcome back hello all right we are going all to right. be talking right now about barotropic versus Bar baroclinic conditions okay and what is this about looking at how we can look at a section mm -hmm. from the Gulf Stream and understand Gulf Stream, okay. whether it is barotropic or baroclinic. Okay. So then the density is going mm. to be homogeneous. What? So in this case right here, if you homogeneous? have some sort of slope in the sea surface, we'll yeah, I'm going to follow her mouse. Equal Come on. Density will <laughs> also be parallel to the sea surface. All now, right, that's enough. The density okay. they do not cross. Okay. The other one crosses. On the other hand, okay. we have, can have baroclinic conditions. Baroclinic conditions exist mm -hmm. when the, the water on average is more dense on this side. Why is that? Uh -huh. I see that it is sloping up and to the right. In that case, <clears throat> oh, drink some water. Depth right here. Not ocean right water, though. The dense, I never learned this stuff at school. Initially, are following the sea surface. Density is going to affect uh, our isobars as well. Yeah, they want to play tic tac toe. Is not only affected by the height of the sea surface, mm -hmm. but it can also be affected. So it will start so what to causes it. Down as we get lower, as we can see right here. This is for really, really, really specific people. Right. Okay. Well, Let's look something. at another schematic. Three D baby. We have our barotropic conditions on the left. Are mm -hmm. baroclinic conditions on the right. So in the barotropic conditions, Let's look at trash the density can, big ones. is a homogeneous parallel. I don't think I'm learning and anything, that, to be honest. And that maintain this angle, all pressure gradient. Oh, now she got a right. pen. And so the pressure gradient force now we're getting serious. is going to be pointing 
Now, I'm sad and writing. I'm so right. lost. So, Coriolis. Oh, I thought she was drawing a. Uh, and we are in the northern <clears throat> hemisphere. Not gonna say it. Geostrophic current must be going into the page. What? That's what it's what is she right? Who so studies these changing. things? It is constant with science, death. I guess. Now let's look over here. So in uh -oh. the tropic flow, Equations. the densities were equal, and the geostrophic current was constant with depth. A equals B. Now, this is pretty boring. I want to see those spiders again. All right. Oh, so no, case, more mass. Ouch. Flow on the left and our baroclinic flow on the right. I mean, this doesn't make and any what sense we see to me. Here is that the isobars in barot on our barotropic flow maintain the same angle, angle. maintain the same slope. As How could an angle be zero? And so I don't know. Are, so Too stupid for math. However, <laughs> if we look at you really have to know a lot about this depth. for this and to make at sense. Some point, so it starts to decrease. This angle gets smaller. Let's see. And it starts to decrease all the way to the What's going on? 162 people like it. A level of no motion. Tamara. It's all the way okay. down to being zero. Thank you for the video. So Could you pl please help me with a question, no Professor? Ah, for internal so tides. No pressure gradient force. And Tamara, so I really like your class so much. Thank you so much for sharing these. Zero geo geostrophic flow. So she's a professor, I guess. Okay. Right. Now let's look at our example. I guess she's smarter than me. So this is from Figure Four Point Twelve. Just a little bit. Your text. Another diagram. Okay, fun. In degrees Celsius. Okay, red. That's Figure hot water. B is showing the salinity distribution. Uh, black is uh, lukewarm. Figure C is oh, that's cold. The, current the blue is cold water. Current. All right. Okay, now it makes sense. So let's point out a few things. Okay, the sure. The first thing we see when we're looking at the temperature. Ah, the, the reddest temperature expect, decreases with depth. Mm -hmm. So the temperature is getting. I knew that. Uh, colder. Cooler and cooler with depth, which is what we would expect. Oh, it says there salinity. Okay, yeah. salinity is the black. Okay. Uh, lower salinity here, uh, less than thirty-six point one. Is that? This is our thirty-six. How salty it is. Isohaline. Is all the stuff necessary for somebody? However, below that, How many minutes left? Here, oh man, we've got no more minutes. Okay, can we get those rainforest spiders on thrown on this? So uh, what's her name? Tamara. Questman? What does this have to do with that? See, boggling questman, and then this is the word that we actually find so related to this try to understand a little bit more about come on boggling quest men problems. what's wrong so the first thing that we want to do is i think the easiest way to look at the it's broken search fall of our iso our iso iso 30s um, she can't even remember these words constant temperatures the big Does difference floor dumb man live here between the temperature if we look more at arrows great and i picked out that's it right so no more this tells us between is she gonna say all this in right layman's side. term and the left side. Another clue that we get by looking at this is what are you, a detective or something? Our current, both the computed current and what is the this down here? Current are computed current, observed all current. The way down to zero. What is this all about? So we have. Um, it's the same thing. Current speed at the top of our water column. What? The side that's this thing's making me fall asleep. Side. I feel like I'm in, back in school. Current. Where are the boggling? And we know that the temperature is what's controlling the density since the temperature the quest is man. getting cooler with depth. So since the temperature is getting cooler with depth, and we already looked at our temperature. That'll make a cool movie, isotherm, Quest Man. Or a game. We saw that it is at a much shallower depth. Um on the left side. A boggling is on the right going side. on a quest. That tells us another to the depths is if we go ahead of the sea. Draw a this is the kind of stuff since the that controls the density that is tells boring us that is to most denser. people, the waters on the but left excites a small group of people. Okay, this one's torture. Must be sloping up. I regret the left. this whole if video series. Tamara, come on, some action. Up here at the top, the ISO, uh, a little bit of action, please. 
surface, which is our top isobaric something. line or our top isobar. That means that the isobars and the C surface Tell me about yourself. must be sloping in the opposite It's probably direction. more interesting than this. So the, okay. Is there any more info here? Now, Excellent. if the C surface oh my lord and to the right, we must roll, our balls roll okay. downhill. Our balls roll down, what did she say? Our balls roll downhill? To the left. See? Good job, so Tamara. Finally, really something first. interesting. All right, talk about the balls again. Come on. Oh, then, color um, change. Ooh, some excitement. Black? No, blue. There we go. We got the blue pen. Hell yeah. Coriolis force. It's not blue. That's purple. Point. Corridor. Good no. Coriolis. And if Coriolis points to the right in our diagram, we know that we are here in Okay, Florida. are you done, Tamara? Yes, so we're done. We want to look at no, 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 we don't. Does the sea surface simply slope up, up to, to the, the right, right? Or does it do something a little more complex? What? Does the sea surface simply well, to answer that, we want what does to that mean? again at our temperature profile here. Oh, no. And we see Enough. That right I want to bang my head on the wall. Salinity profile. Whose idea was the this? Least the oh sea surface is not going to be uh, just simply Come on, Tamara. To the right. Let's be done. Something else that gives us a clue is if we look at our current. Oh. And our current also. Less than a minute to go. Thank you, Lord. Step. I don't think I could this take another right in the minute center. of this. Right in the, uh -huh. It actually has mm -hmm. a hump mm -hmm. in the middle of the section. Oh. Humps. All right. I hope that made some things more clear no. about barotropic no. and barotropic conditions and how we can use those to understand flow in the Gulf Stream. Okay, thank you, it's done. I yeah, hope I don't land on you again tomorrow. All right, on to the ratings. Okay, so this one's gonna be kind of brutal. Okay, let's start with entertainment. Uh, this is an easy one. This is a super boring video that I don't know how I made it through. I do not wanna watch this thing again. Uh, it gets a easy zero out of five next up is the production and on this video there is basically no production but there's a few diagrams so get a point for that one out of five and lastly it is education and this video for me unfortunately it was difficult to understand uh, this is more for people who are already in this field who know what all these terms are um, but for me unfortunately it's just uh, so uh, complicated uh, just the di diagrams helped a little bit okay it gets a three out of five okay uh, i will link this video down below if you want to torture yourself go right ahead all right moving on to the third video all right uh, let's just hope this one won't be as painful as the last one okay we're we're still going to be using uh three words uh let's keep the extended type and let's do this three two one okay we got isothermal subganger <laughs> what showpiece okay all right let's get these words in here what is this subganger i wonder if it's something gang related probably not showpiece okay uh can't be any worse than the last one right okay all right looks like we got a look at this an old-timey miner snt geothermal project 3.8 thousand views it's 10 years old from Missouri. Okay, a golden drill bit breaks ground for Missouri SNT's huge geothermal energy project that will heat 15 campus buildings. Okay, uh, three minute long. Sounds good. Let's take a look and see what this is all about. There we go. Breaking ceremony. Nice mascot. Geothermal energy project. Nice smile. The school's heritage. Nice curls. The mining educational institution has a golden drill bit. Uh, that's real gold. Golden shovel. Golden shovel. Clapping. In a football field sized warehouse oh. near Rolla, where pipes, Cocaine. pumps, grout, and sand are stored for the $32 million geothermal project, ST Facilities Operations pipes. Director Jim Packard talks about Jim the project's Packard. impact on the campus. From RLM? 
behind me are about 500. I know that Jack, that's Jack Packard. Piping to be used in geothermal wells here on the campus of Missouri. Lots Essence. of hoses. Our present uh, heating system on the campus is a coal and wood chip fired boiler plant. That plant was built in 1945. Okay, that looks old. 1945. Was built in 1958. Okay, so they're getting an upgrade. Universities have gone to geothermal. We're kind of on the leading edge of that. Three hmm. regional heat pump plants will be built at McNutt Hall, Emerson <laughs> McNutt. Hall, and the new Bertelsmeyer Hall. My McNutt. Three plants will then supply okay, 3D, baby. buildings in these three color-coded areas of campus. Mm -hmm. This one okay. on the south side. Okay. Another. I wonder if the these are the real side, colors of the building. Hall. And the third It'd be funny if real buildings have look like this. McNutt Hall, there we go. We'll I want to go there. Applying heat to 15 buildings amounting to about 1 million square feet of floor space. We will so be floor space. We're installing approximately 630 wells, and we're done. We're going to have over 100 miles of pipe in the ground. Yeah, a lot installing of work. the geothermal heat pumps will allow us to reduce our energy use on okay. campus by about 50%. We will be reducing Energy our saving. carbon footprint by over 25,000 metric tons okay. of CO2 per year. We'll also what be reducing our water usage by what? All this for that gallons. cup of water. Well, the project's not going to be installed with that. Road closed. To the campus. So we're going to okay. approximately 10% of the parking on a short-term basis. 10% of parking. Well fields underneath the parking lot. Not bad. Pretty good. We'll also have about 7,000 feet of trenching to perform around campus. Okay. You can think of a dump truck. Lots of work. By a dump truck depth. Excavating. That's the type of trench that we're talking about. So we will be okay. having to have people walk out of their way to get to their office or class and we hey, ask for their patients. Where's the camera on the, the floor? Project will be completed Free protection area. 2014. 2014, so it's done already. Boilers will be decommissioned. Ah, probably not. Wood chips on the campus. City work it's never point, gets done. The power plant will still be oh, there's a miner with a gun. In the plant that will continue other than the, the boilers. But at some point in okay. time, that plant will be available for another purpose or demolition. But that's not demolition, baby. Smokestacks aren't going away anytime soon. Cool, cool. Okay, well, there you go. That was it. Short video, short and sweet. All right, on to the ratings. Okay, entertainment. So, this video uh, is not really entertaining, except for this mascot. Uh, it has a really nice uh, suit. The city paid big bucks for this. Attention to detail is great. A nice smile, a nice pickaxe, a sweet hat. So um, that's the only thing that's entertaining. So it will get, and also it is a short video, so it gets another point for that. So I'll give it a two out of five. Next up is production. So this is shot like sort of like a news footage, uh, but we do get to see different parts of the construction. And also we get inside the old power plant. Uh, and also it has that sweet 3D uh, view. Uh, I'll give it a two out of five as well. And finally, uh, for education. Now, like I said, this is about information and not really education. Uh, we don't really learn too much about the new power plant. Uh, except for some uh, numbers there. Uh, I would say, you know, let's give it a 2 out of 5 as well. Um, and well, if you guys enjoyed that video and you want to watch it, uh, it's only 3 minutes long. I will link it below. Alright, we're back at the generator. So let's do the usual three number of words uh word type let's just leave extended for this entire episode um the same options okay three two one and we got externalist badger weed okay ignoration all right we're back and let's see what we get okay so this will probably be the last video for the episode uh, so externalist badger weed ignoration. Okay, I'm hoping we get some badger extermination. No, okay, let's see. 
we got Twin Earth Thought Experiment. Okay. 27,000 views, eight years old. Carnadus.org. A three minute description of Hillary Putnam's. Uh, I don't know who that is, sorry. Famous Twin Earth Thought Experiment in Philosophy of Language. Okay, I don't know nothing about philosophy, but maybe we can learn something. Uh, what is this? Boobies. Okay, that's a that's a good philosophy right there. Okay, let's keep... Let's, Welcome let's back see. to Oop. Thought Experiment Month with Cardades.org. Well, nice to be this back. This week, because this is the this final week, week mm -hmm. of our thought experiments, we're okay, going to be taking week. a look at some of the most important and famous thought experiments in all of philosophy. Okay, great. In honor of this, we're going to be extending the videos from about 90 uh -huh. seconds to about 3 minutes oh, no. each to really Video. dig in. And 90 seconds to 30 minutes. Have to offer. The first okay. of these thought experiments is going to be Hillary Putnam's famous Twin Earth Thought Experiment. Twin Peaks? So, Putnam good first season. Said, meaning, I don't just like the second season. In the head. What he meant by that just was that meaning just if one person head. has uh -huh. in their head one meaning of the word, and one another person has in their head the exact same meaning of the word, it okay. doesn't necessarily mean that they're referring to the same thing. Meaning also comes from the external world. It's not solely reliant on the mental states or okay. the physical states of the brains of the people that are talking Brainy about. stuff. It's important for the world and the actual <sighs> state of things to come into the mix. If that didn't make any sense, let's take a look no, at the thought No, probably not. And see if that can clear things up. Okay, sure. So, let's do it. imagine we're back in 1600, specifically okay. before Henry Cavendish has discovered that water is H2O. Oh, imagine so he discovered Earth, water. But Very also, good. somewhere else in the universe, a place called Twin Earth. On Twin, Twin Earth, Earth, there is a perfect, oh, like the multiverse. identical counterpart to everyone on Earth. And in okay. fact, everything is perfectly the same with one exception. On Earth, exception? water is in fact H2O, whereas okay. on Twin Earth, water is in fact XYZ. However, oh. everyone on Twin Earth and Earth Rather is completely H2O. unaware of this because Henry Cavendish on Earth hasn't discovered water is H2O, and Henry Cavendish's twin on Twin Earth hasn't discovered that water is XYZ yet. So now imagine that we have hmm. someone on Earth called Oscar. And Multiverse of Madness. On Twin Earth. We'll call Oscar, him okay. Twin Oscar the Grouch. Okay. They have perfectly identical, identical brain. Okay. When Oscar Twins. says the word water, he's clearly referring to H2O. H2O. It's the only okay. thing he's ever seen that looks like water. And so okay. he's referring to H2O. Whereas when Twin I'd Oscar call it says two the hose. word water, he's referring to XYZ. Okay. There's no way that Twin Oscar could be referring to H2O because he's never seen it. And there's no way that Oscar could, could be referring to XYZ because he's never seen that. Even though their mental states and their brains mm -hmm. and the words they're using are perfectly identical, Oscar and Twin Oscar are actually referring to very, very different things. Well, I don't Therefore, believe in multiverses anyway. Just ain't in the head. And just ain't in the that head. That was Twin what? Earth. Next up is What is Wrong with Slavery slip. by R.M. Hare. What? Hare what? Followed okay. by Mary's Room. <laughs> we went from Twin Shane, Earth to the Slavery. The of Cardades and a special spooky Halloween surprise. I like Halloween. Watch a new I'm video surprised this. Day this Let's do it. At and w wait, wait, what? That was it? Wait, I feel like there's more to it. Okay. All right, on to the ratings. Okay, uh, let's start with entertainment. All right, so it's not really an entertaining video, um, but the person speaking does a really good job. He's very enthusiastic and uh, he has a good voice. So it will get a point for that. Uh, I do wish it was a bit longer uh, because it was getting kind of interesting and it's it's just it's over too quickly okay on to production okay production is low but uh the person who made it just put a little bit of effort on uh, making these graphics here uh so for that uh just because he put a little bit of work i will give it a one out of five okay and lastly it is uh, education uh I would say it is a slightly educational just because it talks about philosophy but again it's very short uh, i think three minutes is just not enough for this subject matter and he said he used to do 90 seconds that's that's way too short all right so i would give it um a 
two out of five because I thought I'm not gonna like it at all, but it was kind of interesting. All right. And the grand winner is the Social Spiders video, followed by the Geothermal Project. And in the last place, I'm actually surprised there even, is the Twin Earth and Barotropic, but I will give the edge to Twin Earth just because it is shorter. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video and take care.